Let's -a go. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, the Ninja Reviewer here, and this is just going to be a quick video, not really the longest video, but quick enough as it is. So basically, if you haven't heard, or not I've heard yet, it has been revealed about the actual season finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 6. Yes, the finale has been revealed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. Before I start hyping up and getting all... Oh, man. So much possibilities of what could this possibly be. Now, I'm really loving the idea for this season finale so far. Like, oh my god. So, in case you haven't known, I will put the, uh, the link in the description below. Uh, I know this news was kind of about when, like, about maybe three days ago. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I haven't really catching up with Equestria Daily as much. But then someone told me about it, so I was like, alright, cool. So... I went to go check it out, and I finally see, and we got the title for part one and part two, and it is called To Wear and Back Again. Hmm. Very interesting title. I like the title, and it kind of seems like we might be getting into some lenience on what this could possibly be. Now, now, this could lead to that one possibility when this season is done, that Starlight Glimmer might have her place in the castle, like in the throne, being part of the whole main six click, which kind of makes sense, which could be the case, but when reading this actual title, this is actually very, very interesting. But some people may be a tad bit salty that the main six may probably not appear in this season finale, which is kind of weird and odd that they're going to do something like this. This is a brand new turn of events that they're going to do, and I'm actually really impressed with the idea here. This is actually something brand new fresh to the table which I am like okay this shit got me intrigued I'm actually really looking forward to this but the one yo alright l l let me just read the synopsis alright it's going to be premiering October 22nd so bronies market calendars down October 22nd will be the final day where we will see ponies go bye bye for next year so October 22nd will be the last of season 6 so that we know for sure so i pretty much guessed it right that october was going to be the month we will end off season six which kind of makes sense that we aired most of it throughout the summer halfway leads to like the beginning of fall which sort of makes sense sort of like the whole summer anime lineup how it pretty much does that even though this is kind of late going into the end of october but regardless though it's not so bad uh so anyways let's just go on with part one and it's called Without the Help of Twilight Sparkle in the Main Six. So you heard that right. No Twilight Sparkle and no Main Six. What can this possibly lead up to? This is going to be something very interesting that I didn't think they wouldn't trigger. Like, wow. I mean, damn. I mean, wow. This is... Well, I'm just looking at the comments, but yeah, definitely. I'm like, holy shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me read the rest of the part. Because this is the part that that fucking... Yeah, this is where I get hyped. Here we go. Without the help of Twilight Sparkle in the main six, Starlight Glimmer assembles an unlikely team of heroes to defend Equestria from the return of one of its greatest threats. One of its greatest threats. Hi, yo. If it's too... It's Derek. Yo, I, I am going to be jumping out of my fucking window, yo. I love fucking Tyrick, man. Tyrick was one of my top favorite villains. Season 4, man. This dude was on, if you read or watch One Piece, on Yonko Kaido Emperor Kaido. Status, man. He is the Kaido of One Piece. Yo, this Alright, it's either him or I want Chrysalis, because honestly, Chrysalis changed the Empire, and again, I love me some Chrysalis. I mean, it kind of makes sense because we did get the introduction of Thorax in this season, which could make sense because we got Thorax, so this could possibly mean that we will be getting him, 
Alright, maybe, maybe. I might have to get the lotion for that shit, but I do my life yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, alright. Let's just continue on. So, the second part is Starlight Glimmer leads an unlikely squad of rescuers. Rescuers? See, now it's weird how it says rescuers. See, that's the thing that was weird. Against one of the ponies, oldest and greatest foes, in order to save her friends and Equestria. Again, I don't know who that could possibly... Now, it says it's one of the ponies oldest, quote, oldest and greatest foes. Not just one. Not just one, bitches. Two. Two foes. Ah, ah, ah. Chrysalis and Gaia. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Maybe it's someone new. Maybe it's like two brand new forces combined in. Like, maybe it's some kind of new threat that's gonna happen. It could be a new villain, but if, if it's not a new villain, it's returning villains. Some people may not like that idea of, like, returning villains. It's like, god damn it, we want, like, some other new villains. But granted, though, I would like to see the return of uh, Tyrick or Chrysalis. Or it could possibly be, again, some people, like, a group. Maybe it's, like, some kind of dark gill, like, yeah, you know, on some fairy tale shit or on some Harry Potter shit. It could be, like, a dark guild or something like that that's probably, like, trying to destroy Equestria itself or pretty much just trying to take over it and get rid of anything that relates to friendship, relates to any kind of magic whatsoever. It could lead to something like that, which could be very interesting. Again, man, I am just... Yo, this is this is insane. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. 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 And also, besides the villains, because that's the one thing everyone's getting like mad jumpy about. The second thing, who do you think this team that Starlight is going to pretty much summon? Who do you think it's gonna be? My guess is that I made so many theories. One, it could possibly be uh definitely Trixie is obvious because you need two magic users. You're gonna have Trixie and you can have motherfucking Starlight. Bam. Fucking you got you got Starlight Glimmer, who is pretty much an OP, I think even just beyond OP than fucking Twilight. You got Zarwado! You got the Dio Brando of MOP, man. You got Zarwado on your side, man. So, so you shouldn't worry about nothing, man. And you got Trixie. And you got Trixie. So Trixie and her combined it. Yo, that'd be so sick if they did that. That would be really cool. So, granted, that'd be nice. Maybe it could be the Alliance characters that we see, well, the characters we met in Season 6, which, you know, is on some JoJo's Diamond is Unbreakable, if anybody is a big JoJo fan. It kind of reminds me of, like, recently, or just if you read the manga or just watching the anime now, like, Diamond is Unbreakable, how you have, like, all the town members that have the stands trying to catch the one killer and stuff like that. So, the characters that we see really relevant throughout the whole entire season with all the stands, and they're aware that the killer is loose. So, yeah, it sort of reminds me of that. So, it could be the characters that we've seen some season six, or number two, it could be some of the characters also from the 100th episode, a.k.a. the background ponies, like Vinyl Scratch, uh, maybe Octavia, maybe, uh, I don't know, Derpy, oh, well, Derpy, I don't know what Derpy can really do to fight off against something like that, I really don't know, I don't know, maybe changing, I, I, I guarantee you, it's probably a changing army, because his foes, I'm guessing the group could also be changing army, it makes sense because we got Thorax, maybe Thorax is trying to show them you know, friendship, and the Thorax were saying, no, fuck that shit. They were like, no, we, we, we don't care for this friendship garbage. We just want to pretty much just love and feast on ponies with the sake of love from our beloved queen. This day is going to be perfect. Yeah. All right, we need her back. Come on. Seriously, if this is the changing army against the ponies, the dragons. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Yo, I'm telling you, man. If they summon the dragons in this fucking shit, this is gonna be crazy. If they have the army elite of dragons, 10,000 plus dragons. Yo, you don't. Yo, that's a fucking army right there, bro. Are you shitting me? You got 10. 10,000 probably plus dragons. Over 9,000. 10,000. No, 10,000. Fuck that. We're going Torical stats, man. Fucking 10,000 motherfuckers 
there, dragons and all, man. I'm telling you, this will be crazy as hell. If we see a pony, if we see a pony in Dragon Alliance, or we see like uh, a pony and Griffin Alliance, yo, that'd be even more sick. Yo, this is this will be like on some Marine Fort status shit, man. I'm telling you. And then finally, I'm thinking it also could be the pe uh, the village people that we met in season five. You know, the beginning with Star Lake Limber corrupted that village. That could be my last possible guess, but then no, because you know, you got Double Diamond, you got them, and they were pretty characters, like Party Favor. Party Favor is crazy, man. Yo, did you, did you see the big ass fucking balloon bridge that guy can do? Did you see that shit when you were trying to cross the bridge and he created that fucking balloon bridge? He can be pretty useful too, like I'm telling you, there's gonna be some crazy alliance, man. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm really excited for this. Again, this is something brand new, something fresh at the table. I mean, you're, we're gonna get villains, but I don't care. This is hype, man. This is hype. This is something brand spanking new, never been done before. Without no Twilight. Well, okay, maybe we will see the main sets. Okay, I'm contradicting. Maybe we will see the characters. Maybe Spike. Spike, maybe. It's a possibility Spike could. The possibility Spike. Spike could possibly possibly join them i mean maybe he'll have his big moment where he'll shine i mean hey he's been doing great this season i mean if he shines as his finale it's a wrap man spike will be getting like the greatest love out of all mm, especially the dragon lights yo we're gonna see amber i love amber Let, let's hope we, we get to see those characters man it'll be really good um yeah so i guess that's pretty much it then uh that's all i can really think of at the moment man i i, I don't know because uh, not only was I hyped for this episode, but I'm hyped for the upcoming episode about a couple episodes in before the finale, which is the one where the apple lies. Applejack, yo. If, if, if we see Applejack's motherfucking parents, man, if we find out what's going on from the plot from what I read from that episode, if that's going to be the case, yo, I might do a live reaction to that episode as well. Maybe. I don't know. If it's worth a live reaction, worth it. I'm going to wait till the fucking episode gets... You know, previewed wise, if if the preview sort of hypes me up, or if the episode comes out before I'm even awake, and then like basically people say like, "Yo, man, do a live reaction, do a live reaction." Like I have to because that episode. I'm telling you, if it's that episode where we get to see the big mystery reveal of Applejack's parents, it's a fucking wrap, man. This this season mm, might come close to season five's levels, maybe, but I don't know about that, man, because it'll be hard to top. The the Crusaders of Lost Mark. It'd be very hard to top that shit. It'd be very, 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 very hard. And I really like did I, I did really like the episode with the CMC, especially if you saw my review of um uh the Fault in Arcadia Marks, which again originally was supposed to be way before. And this was great. I mean the end of season six looks like it's gonna be pretty good. I mean, even though the next episode it's gonna have those brothers and ugh, really so Grand, before we get through all that shit, we have to go through that. And then finally, we're going to get the greatness, man. Yo, that episode 23, man. That episode 23, shit, man. If it's what I think it is, man, this might, these might be the best episodes. That, this is going to be a hard top five, man. That's going to be the good. Season five was easy, but top, season six, god damn. She. Okay, so I'm done for real. I went on long enough. So give me your thoughts in the comment section below of what you think on how this is gonna play out like who do you think is gonna be the heroes that starlight glimmer is gonna have on their side and we know you know these freaking promos we know they're probably gonna spoil at least some of them who it's gonna be maybe i don't know maybe some of the promos for the next month of october of discovery family they'll show it but i'm not so sure but regardless though i am very excited give me your thoughts in the comment section below of this exciting news i'm really excited for this because this is going to be fantastical fantastical yeah i know that was, that was weird but anyways i'm done thank you for watching don't forget to check out the link in the description below and i'll catch you bronies and anime fans later this is the ninja reviewer signing out and good night peace soul love chicken grease and the sky slumming bro to you guys bronies and anime fans but bam i bro to you guys anyway because I, you know we love it so much so yeah, anyways, I will see you guys, especially for the ponies, the brony fans. I will see you guys for episode 20 uh, once it comes out this Saturday. Uh, hopefully I'll get the review on time, you know, hopefully. And yeah, that's pretty much it, so for reals.
fucking hype train, man. Okay, the hype train is starting to chug, man. This, this, the hype train looks like it was like, oh shit, it's picking up, it's picking up, shit. It's picking up that speed, that speed. Right, I'm done, I'm done. For real, I'm signing out. I'm just, I'm just too hyped. Later.